What is up, y'all? Oh, it has been a busy day. Today is Sunday, which it doesn't feel like Sunday. It feels like Saturday, actually. Today is Sunday, and we got a late start. I uh, I didn't wake up till almost 10 o'clock, and had my coffee and got caught up on my social media and all that kind of stuff. Made breakfast about 11.30. Then I told Austin, we had planned on going fishing. I told Austin, I said, why don't we go ahead and make a video and uh, put the uh, clutch and variator off of the old ruckus. It was a custom clutch and variator. Why don't we pull it off the old ruckus and onto the new ruckus. Long story short, we didn't get done with that till 3.30 and then realized about 4.30 we hadn't ate since late morning. Grabbed something to eat, I edited the video and now it is 6 o'clock I believe, yeah quarter after 6 and Ashton and I are headed to the lake where Austin and a couple of his buddies have been for about an hour and uh, we're gonna try some new uh, channel cat bait that I made yesterday and I'll show you that right now Basically got a treble hook tied off real good and tight with 18 inches or so there and what's next okay next thing is get your hot dog cut it in half break it in half whatever make you a little tool here with a notch on the end to hold the line it's just a coat hanger taped up on the end it's basically a baiting tool but a free one Stick it in the very center there. Shove it all the way out the other end, as close to the center as possible. And when it comes out the other end, then you take your line and you kind of pinch it on here with your thumb, somewhere around in there, close to that notch. And then wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. And then you pinch the line up there and kind of start pushing the hot dog that way and just pull it until it comes out the other end and grab it put down your tool slowly pull it up until your treble hook pulls into it it's a little on the crooked side but we won't complain and then the other end, what I've been doing is I've been taking these swivels with the clasp on them. I've just been taking my dikes, cutting the clasp off. If you have swivels or if you're going to buy the stuff to do it, just buy these heavy duty swivels. That way when you go to get them out of your jar, all you got to do is just tie them on real quick and easy like and you don't have to worry about making two lines connect to each other. And then you tie it just like you tied your hook. Just like that. And this one's giving me fits. I think I got it. Got it. Flip off your excess line, but that doesn't really matter unless you're just wanting to make it look pretty. And uh, what these beads are for is before you put your line on, you put a slide through sinker, and then you put a slide through bead, and then you take your line and tie onto here, and the bead will keep the slide through from getting hung up on your knot. That's all you do there. After you get this all tied on, Put it in here in the jar with the others, brothers and sisters. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and jump forward. Go ahead and show you. You got some, uh, I think it's distilled white vinegar here. Goodness gracious. Pour that in there. Basically making pickled hot dogs is what you're doing. Leave a little head because you're gonna have more hot dogs in there. And they just float around. Then you take some spice garlic, dump that in there. And you take some garlic salt, and you dump that in there. And voila! They say catfish love this stuff. And we're gonna find out. All right, we, uh, we had to turn around and go back because I had forgot my fishing license at home. And on the way back, Austin called and they wanted me to bring a bucket. And uh, Austin evidently caught a two and a half pound bass. And Keegan caught a catfish. And then uh, Gerard was catching one while I was on the phone. So uh, we went back to the house, got my fishing license, and grabbed them a bucket. We're almost there. And uh, I'm going to throw a, a pull out for me and a pull out for Ashton that has the hot dog bait on it, for catfish. And then we're going to throw some lures out with our regular poles. We're going to give it a shot and see if we can catch us a mess of fish. Ashton and I got here. We did forget chairs, but I don't know if we would have had enough room to carry them on your next cast. Be careful you hit the tree behind you. <laughs> Anyhow, I don't know if we would have had enough to carry them. I mean, all the stuff that we carried in was like crazy, but uh, Austin and his buddies are across there and they just picked up a stringer full of fish. And uh, they are right over there. If you guys can see them. And, uh, I think you're caught up in some moss, so just keep reeling it in. We uh, have a lot to do. I've got to set up a bunch of poles and uh, go from there. It is time for me to tie up some uh, catfish rigs and uh, excited about this new bait seen it on YouTube and I was like man I gotta do one of those so I'm gonna tie up a weight and then I'm gonna tie on my hot dogs and should be fun I've got a uh, two poles out in the water with the catfish bait on. Just got my last one on. I'm waiting for it to sink all the way to the bottom. It's taken a while. Only got one pretty good weight on it. Ashton hasn't had any luck, but I think Austin and them are tearing it up. So I'm gonna pull this up on the bank here a ways. You set it. yet Austin and his buddies are tearing it up but uh Ashton and I aren't Ashton hasn't had a bite yet I had one about four foot from the bank but it spit out the hook I didn't know I had one though I didn't set the hook or anything I wasn't even doing too much reeling pressure I was just normally reeling it in but 
I'm gonna change the battery in the GoPro and uh, get back at it. All right, got all the bait poles back out in the water. Got Ashton a new lure on. And I got a new lure on and uh, going for round two here. Those boys are bound to run out of creek chub before long, I would say. Still haven't got any bites. Lost both of my hot dogs when I threw back out with both of my poles. So I had to rebate those both. And uh, I've got them out there a long ways. So they're bound to be coming across to school. And uh, that's just all there is to it. I don't know how much longer we're gonna last. The sun is starting to go down over the horizon. Looks like we got a lot of light on this camera, but we don't really. Ashton is giving it all he's got down there. Um, I'm probably gonna stop my bass fishing and just focus on the cat fishing, but we're down to our last couple of hot dogs, so. Um, Austin and them, I don't know how much creek chubs they still have left, but man, they are still slaying them. They have got a nice stringer of fish, so we'll have fish, but uh, Ashton still hasn't caught one yet this year, so. Ugh. I'm gonna have to make that my goal for this week, for sure, no matter what, get Ashton on a fish. I wish I had a way to leave these poles overnight. I, uh, when I was a kid, I used to have a pond down from my house and I would lay fence posts, big old heavy wooden fence posts across my poles overnight. And then I'd throw a jug or two out and stake the jug line down in the bank. And I'd come back the next morning and there'd be fish on almost every single one of them. So I know if I left these out overnight, I would surely have something on one of them. And um, I just don't have the patience for that tonight. I have had a lot going on today. The sun is going down. Ashton and I are done doing our bass fishing and we've sat here for probably 20 minutes watching these lines. I asked Austin if they needed the poles and they said they had too many already anyway. So I may try to stop over on that fence line over there and see if I could um, maybe get a picture of them or something walk down to their campfire. They got a freaking campfire going over there. They're the real deal. They are slaying it this year. I gotta hand it to them. They are slaying it. I mean, I've caught two fish this year. I've been fishing a lot, but they're going every single day. And I mean, they are slaying the fish. 90% of it is catch and release, but um, gotta hand it to them. They have got a stringer full of fish over there. made it home and uh, you know me and Ashton came up empty-handed um, but Austin and his buddies they didn't they uh, really 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 have had a good fishing season I'm pretty proud of Austin but um, I came back and uh, finished rendering my video for the uh, the ruckus um, stuff that we did to the ruckus yesterday and uh, started to download all the footage for this video and I forgot to make a, an ending to the video <laughs> so I'm out here in my normal spot that I normally do it in the dark it's like 11 o'clock at night Austin and his buddies are still fishing haven't heard from him in a while so I'm getting ready to call him right now Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I think tomorrow I have to drop Ashton off in the morning at his mom's because it's her holiday. But I think I'm going to make another video tomorrow. I think I'm going to go fishing again tomorrow and try to bring you guys a video. Maybe I'll catch something tomorrow. Thanks for coming along for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, y'all.